Here's the add-ons toolbar for Acrobat and Reader. And you can uh, build your own custom toolbar buttons with icons, with labels, and with uh, mouse over tooltips. The most difficult part of this is programming that icon correctly so it shows up on that toolbar button. It's not difficult anymore. If you use this tool that you can download at pdfautomationstation.com in fact I'm going to show you how to build one of these buttons literally in a couple seconds. All you do is fill out a few fields here choose your icon, click it, copy the code and uh, you're done. So right here's the function code. This is you can build your entire function here and then execute it in this uh, field right here. This is where you'd put the line of code to execute it. Or you can just if it's a pretty basic code, you don't need a function, you can just run the code right here. And that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I notice with Acrobat DC there's no button to highlight fields. At least I can't find one, so that's what we're going to build today. And here's the code right here. This code just says, if highlighting's on, turn it off, and if highlighting's off, turn it on. So it'll toggle back and forth. Um, this field's mandatory. You need a unique button name. I'm just going to call it uh, oops, PDF Automation Station Highlighter. I'm not going to put a label because I want to save some room here. I will put a tooltip though so it reminds me of what it is. And I'll put uh, highlight fields. Next step, I just have to choose one of these icons. There's 140 of them in here. Um, we might add some later, but for now, there's a lot of icons. Since we're building a highlighting tool, this icon kind of looks like a highlighter so I'm going to use that one. So all I do is click it and it says press control C which will copy my code or my script. So I'll do that now. Control C. I'll click OK. Then I'm going to open up a notepad and I'm just going to paste that script here. And then I'll save this to my desktop. Just go save as and let's call this same thing pretty well. Call it uh, PDF automation station highlighter and you got you have to put the .js file extension for JavaScript and also don't forget to change this from text to all files and it's desktop save so that's it I'm done I'm gonna close down Acrobat now because we have to restart it if we want that button to show up here so let's close that I'll just save that and uh, I have a shortcut on my taskbar to the JavaScript folder, so I'll just open that now. Here it is right here. And here's my script. I just drag it in. Continue. I'll close that. Now I'm going to reopen Acrobat. And I'll also reopen that same form. And here is the button that wasn't there previously. When I mouse over, it says highlight fields, just like we put right here and there's the code it's going to execute let's just test that out look at these fields here we'll see if they highlight yep they highlight they unhighlight see that it just toggles back and forth and that's all there is to it what did it take me about 30 seconds to build that toolbar button um, so you can do that too just go to our website and download this uh, custom toolbar button maker Thank you for watching.